They said, where are we? We're in Sacramento, in California. Okay, that is news to me. 20 migrants that got off this plane at the Sacramento Executive Airport Monday didn't know where they were until they landed. They were enticed, told, led to believe that if they got on this plane, they would be helped to find a job. Do you have any proof at this point that this flight or the first flight are linked to Florida? Absolutely. And I, I don't know if that's in dispute. And, you know, uh, we have a official program from the state of Florida it has a name. It's called the state of Florida's voluntary transportation program. It was funded by state of Florida tax dollars. It's in the public records. It was voted on by the legislature. It was signed by the governor. It's their program. From El Paso to New Mexico to Sacramento, the group of mostly Venezuelan migrants were in the dark. California's governor, Gavin Newsom, suggested kidnapping charges. But does Rob Bonta, the state's attorney general, agree? It's on the table. It's one of the potential criminal uh, legal violations we're looking at. We're looking at all possible criminal and civil violations that the facts support and the law justifies. The White House is in close touch with state officials, with a reminder from the press room shortly after the second unannounced arrival to Sacramento. The busing or flying migrants uh, around the country without any coordination with the federal government, we've talked about this, uh, state or local officials as well, uh, is dangerous and unacceptable.